Guys, the wait is finally over. Global 7th anniversary celebration has officially begun. So in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what we can expect from this part one of the campaign. In case you didn't know, there are technically gonna be four parts to the celebration. We got part one, which is happening right now, part two, part three, as well as part EX at the end of the month. So with that said, let's uh, pop into the news here and find out what's going on. So it says, Infinite Ultimate Battle Dokkan 7th Anniversary Grand Celebration is on. Thank you for your support. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle is celebrating its 7th anniversary. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. When I first started playing this game, uh, two things. I didn't think I was gonna be playing for this long. I thought it was gonna be like a, you know, like couple of weeks, couple of month kind of thing, and then I would get bored of it. But look at me now, like close to five years later, I think, still playing, still going strong. And number two, I thought the game honestly would get shut down before it reached seven years. So congratulations to Dokkan, congratulations to uh, Bandai for <laughs> making all that money and uh, hopefully we get more anniversaries, you know, uh, at least 10 years, I think is pretty realistic, maybe even more, we'll see. But yeah, seventh anniversary, huge deal, awesome. Moving on, various events will become available, including the Dual Dokkan Festival, which is obviously the main thing that people are excited for, and a limited attempts event where you can get skill orbs uh, exclusive to Goku and Vegeta. In addition, the following three types of summon tickets can be obtained during the 7th anniversary celebration period. Okay, so the three tickets are the regular general 7th anniversary ticket, which we've been getting for like a good month now. And then we have the 77 special summon ticket, which I will make a video for specifically to let you guys know how you can get all of the uh, 50 tickets actually. So it's not 77, it's actually 50 tickets to do the free guaranteed triple LR multi. And then we have these rainbow tons of thanks tickets, which are basically, um, so you can't use them right now, but they can actually be used to summon on the Dual Dokkan Fest banners as well as the part two banner. And uh, you can use them once part two begins. Okay, so those are the three special tickets. And then from there, they're saying, uh, obtain summon tickets from the login bonus and missions. Um, tons of thanks tickets can only be used in summons that will become available in late July. There we go. And then uh, there's a separate announcement for the tickets. Okay, cool. And we have this special movie, which I'm not going to play right now, but you guys will have seen it if you log in right now. And uh, it's, it's freaking amazing. It's, I mean, I've seen it multiple times now, and every single time I still get chills. Um, it still brings a tear to my eye, you know, so great job on that. Special titles, events, okay, new titles are available, very cool. Um, we got the login bonus, standard. Now we are getting, I believe, 30 stones. I think it's 30 stones. Yeah, 30 stones for the initial login, plus um, a couple of the 77 summon tickets, and also at least one copy of the free-to-play Goku and Vegeta with the seven-star Dragon Ball. So if you haven't received that yet, don't worry, it might take a little bit longer to arrive in your box, but it is coming. And then we have the uh, special missions, standard stuff. We have this co-op campaign, which is basically just, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure just a couple of missions that we can complete together to get additional rewards. And then we have the dual Dokkan Festival, which is dropping on the 8th for people on East Coast time, it's gonna be in the morning of the 9th, so we're still like two days away, which is pretty standard. Um, if you were expecting the banner to drop today, I'm sorry, but this is how it always works, right? During anniversaries, the celebration starts first, and then a few days later is when the banners come out. So we have the dual banners for the Super Saiyan 4s, as well as the LR, God, Goku, and Vegeta. And then we have the new Dokkan events as well, of course, for the Blue Boys and also the Super Saiyan 4s slash Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. 
and uh, the special 77 summon. So I think the stone version of this banner is already available, and you can spend 300 stones to get 77 units plus uh, three guaranteed LRs. Now, as far as the ticket version goes, um, you can't actually summon on that until the end of the celebration, until part three, where you can collect the final tickets, right? So right now, you can only summon on it with stones. Um, I think the value is like pretty decent, honestly. If you don't have a lot of stones, I would save most of them for, you know, the Dual Dokkan Fest. But if you have excess stones to spend on this, um, like I said, not, not a bad deal. And uh, I will definitely be doing my summon later today, uh, probably in like an hour or so. So keep an eye out for that. And then we have a uh, 7th anniversary ticket summon. That's just with the regular tickets that I was talking about. We have the dragon ore exchange. So now you can take these dragon ores that we've been collecting. Uh, you should have up to 77 if you did all the missions. And then you can uh, exchange them for actual dragon stones in the Baba shop. So that's a total of 77 free stones right there. And from there we have the, uh, this would be the coin exchange, right? The, yeah, seventh anniversary coin exchange. You can get anniversary coins through missions and then uh, exchange them for various things in the shop like uh, orbs, um, celebration units from like the, you know, worldwide celebrations, data celebrations, things like that. And also uh, some other useful items. And then we have the Red Dragon Stone. If you guys uh, don't know who to choose with the Red Dragon Stone, I'll probably make a separate video for that too, but um, it's the same pool as before. So if you've been around for other Red Dragon Stone selections, then it's kind of the same deal. And then we have the Premium Dragon Stone as well, or the Purple Dragon Stone. You can purchase those through the packs in the uh, Stone Drop, obviously. And you can get three to exchange for an LR, and I mean, if you're gonna buy stones anyways, it's actually a pretty nice bonus, um, but yeah, it's only like a pay to play kind of thing, so if you're free to play, don't worry about it, okay? And then we have your Dragonstone sales, let's see. Uh, these are usually pretty good, hopefully. Uh, we get some nice discounts here. Okay, so we got 50 stones once for, for the price of six, that's nice. And then we got uh, 12 stones once only, 50%, okay, 32 stones. Five times 50% off, that's good, that's a good deal. And then we have the 93 stone pack for the price of 63, 10 times. And a 100 stone pack, which you can get the premium Dragonstone for, or from, the premium Dragonstone 9 from, up to three times. So that's the purple Dragonstone right there. And then uh, for the next two weeks, it looks like you can get five Dragonstones at the price of one, which, you know, is obviously not a bad deal either. So, um pretty standard sale honestly uh, nothing too special I was hoping we would get that like 77 stone pack you know or a couple of those for like 20 bucks or whatever it was before that was a really good deal that was a legitimately good deal this is all right but I think they could have done better honestly but um yeah I mean it's it's you know standard for anniversaries so there you go, those are the stone sales for my pay to play players. We have the ultimate fighters packs, which uh, I'm assuming are tickets for the dual Dokkan Fest banners they can purchase as well. And then we have a special capsule, or not special capsule, we have daily capsule. The 30 day one is available for a very cheap price. I don't know how much exactly it is, but hopefully it's like a dollar or something like that. And then we got some social media campaign stuff for some extra stones, up to nine it looks like. And then of course Elder Kai banner. We got the new story events for the Bulma and Vegeta, the Chi Chi and Goku, and also the LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. Now these two, the uh, couples right here, don't have Dokkan Awakenings yet until part two. And this one does have a Dokkan Awakening, but they don't get their, their uh, LR Dokkan Awakening until part two as well. And of course, they all get Extreme Z Awakenings too later on. And then we have the uh, Clash Between Rivals, uh, Goku and Vegeta Skill Orb event, so you should, which you should uh, do daily to get the Skill Orbs for those two characters. We have the Ultimate Red Zone event for uh, the GT bosses, as well as the movie bosses. And these are 
pretty challenging, pretty hard events. Uh, I will, of course, be doing my own personal gameplay videos to uh, clear them uh, throughout the week, so stay tuned once again. And then there's new boss rush, boss rush 14. Easy stuff, you know, pretty standard. And then uh, new missions, new missions added to GT Legendary Goku event and the Legendary Vegeta event. So um, you have to clear them with new categories, which is going to be um, more content once again, but also just more things to do. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do a stream for that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All Dokkan events available. You know, not, not a surprise there. Uh, all Extreme Z battles available as well. And then we have the Hidden Potential events open weekly. Or sorry, uh, they're open on the weekend, right? All the Hidden Potential weekly events are open. Wait a second. Are they all available every day? Wait, usually it's just the weekend, right? Unless this is like a special thing that I missed. I think it's just the weekend. I don't know, guys. I'll check it. I'll check it. Okay, and last but not least, we have a new special edition Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Battlefield, um, which uh, will become available on the 11th, so in like four or five days from now. And that appears to be everything, guys. The rest is from the Countdown campaign. And yeah, no Extreme Z Awakenings, you might have noticed, for part one. Unfortunate, but it'll be worth the wait because in part two we have some uh, really good stuff and then part three and part four Even better stuff as far as extremes the awakenings go. So uh, Just remain patient. It's coming But uh, I'm gonna go do my 300 stone multi as soon as possible. So uh, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are stoked for this anniversary, good luck on your runs on uh, the Red Zone, uh, Boss Rush, you know, all that good stuff. And um, get ready for the banners to drop in a couple days as well. So that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy 7th anniversary, my fellow global players. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.